the Heston Slaughter. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once again to the Marion Sports and Aquatic Center, affectionately known as the SAC. This is bonus MC TV coverage of the 3A Substate Basketball Playoffs. I am Kevin Freesting, along with Jerry Smith, Jay Smith, Mike Powers, and Gene Winkler, here to bring you tonight's action between the Marion Warriors and the Heston Swathers. Jerry, good evening. Good to strap the headset on one more time again. Hopefully it's not the last one. Hopefully not the last one, yeah. We what can you tell us about this Heston Swather team? <laughs> They're 20 and 0, <laughs> ranked number one in the state. Marion, 13 and 8, ranked, I don't know. But you know what? That, that, that's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to do something. Maybe we could storm the, oh, that's right. We probably get probably five. Probably get trouble yeah, in high yeah, school to storm that. the court. But, uh, I, I think we'll have a hard time keeping our students off the floor if, if we win want, this ball yeah. game. But, but it's it's going to be a really tough, tough ball game for the uh, Marion Warriors. What I understand is Heston likes to press a lot. They like to press early, get up early, and uh, see, if they, then see if they can't hang on for the rest of the game. I don't know. I, that's just the scouting report I got from one of the athletes. Okay. But, uh, so... Maybe if we're lucky enough or good enough that we can handle their pressure, uh, maybe that's most of their uh, offense. But I do know they are uh, fairly big and fairly fast. They got a 6'6 kid that plays inside that posts up pretty well. So we'll see. I, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Just give us another, another chance to call a basketball game. Here you Just go. Can't wait. The uh, round one sub-state playoff game, Marion won that game in a nail biter 36 32 or something like that but marion was pitted against a team that had some tall kids in it one was six seven and and james jones just did a whale of a job defending him blocked several shots of his let's see how he fares against uh, heston's six seven player he is number 50 watt well, i guess he's only listed at six six, six, six yeah. kenny but uh, yeah i thought james had probably one of his better defensive games yeah. of the year and he's he's starting to come around from that ankle injury so that's always good to see mary needs to get off to a hot start um shoot very well and then just try and keep the pressure on as we get through this game yeah they can't they can't afford to fall behind by a big number and it's, and they're going to have to really hit the boards and make their free throws nice nice crowd in the uh sports and aquatic center tonight there is, uh, I'm sure, some some residual from the previous Sacred Harp Southeast of Saline yeah, game. Uh, I hope so. Looks like there's some standing along over there. They'll watch at least for a while, hopefully yep. for the whole game. But uh, both bands are in fine fashion tonight. Oh, five-second count. That's great. Yeah, we've got two bands going tonight. That'll be fun, Battle of the Bands. Both both uh, teams brought some a good student section. Wow, he has a fast five-second count, I guess. Yeah, I guess. That, I've never seen that before. Two consecutive Two five-second calls. That's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. Heston does inbound at this time. Blocked in there by Jones. There we go. I see Robbie picked up a foul real quick, like, so that, that might, fouls might have a lot to do with the outcome of the game tonight. I hope not. All right, Marion gets the set up on offense for the first time. No score in the ball game yet. Again, this is a quarterfinal game. Winner moves on into the semifinals. This is one and done when you get yep. into this time of the season, Jerry. Winner, whoever winner, whoever winner. ends up with the longest winning streak now will win yeah. state. Winner, winner moves on to play Sacred Heart, which defeated Southeast Saline pretty easy. I think they're going to call that a blocking block. I, so. yep. yep. I am only used to seeing our Marion Warrior bench down and to our left here. I'm not used to seeing us over on this other side here. Oh, shot just a little short. By high yeah. Brent. Our defense is over here. Yeah. Oh. Ball well, just about stolen that by Nala. Three pointer taken and good. And here comes that press you're talking about, Jerry. If Marion is successful in breaking the press early and often, that might help 
somewhat loosen that up. No problem in getting across the timeline. Yeah, it looks like they're going to press hard on the inbounds play and then back off yeah. once they get in or they may trap every once in a while. We just got to be ready for when they bring, bring the heat and when they don't bring the heat. Heston first to score with that three-pointer. Six minutes, 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Tried to do a give and go there. Ball is on the floor. Yeah, Warrior yeah. should get that by virtue of the alternating possession rule. Good job by Timothy Nola down there to hustle while that ball was on the floor, tied it up, and Warriors will retain possession. Jerry, the Warriors' offense the last several games seems to be a lot more deliberate, waiting for certain cuts or some, something to happen in there. They don't come down and, and run and gun very often. They, they typically work for some time to get a shot up. They, uh, they're, they've been very patient, but on the other hand, I think that these are playing, they're playing better defense than yep. what, we've, what we saw earlier in the season. Probably with the shot, no good. There's Jones, went up for the rebound. Ball got stolen away, though. And that's the scored by Heston. That's something we got. We got to rotate back. Looks like they send somebody back about every time, so we got to be careful with that. And Heston out to an early 5-0 lead. All the drives in, kicks it back out. Case goes in, and that ball will be kicked by Heston. Yep. Retained by Marion. Heston about got away with a little hack there, but yeah. All right, 524 left in the first quarter. Boy, Heston, Heston, you just can't turn the corner on Heston. No, they've, they've been trying to get there into yeah. the lane, but just can't do it. There's Case up with a good, they strong move and scores. Nice That's job right. by Griff Case to get the Warriors on the board. With five minutes to go in the first quarter. Oh, Aaron Look. pass there. Nice Look defense by Case. Like Jacob Baldwin coming in to give give Jones a rest. Nice job to get the ball in inbounds. Yeah, you're right, Jerry. Looks like they press the ball until it gets into somebody's hands, and then they'll back it off. And about the time you, you start to feel comfortable doing that, they'll start trapping yeah, off of yeah, it. Yeah. All right, see if Marion can either draw within one or tie the game up. Heston up early, two to five. It's a very aggressive man-to-man -man defense. Really, both, yeah. both teams are playing very tight, tight. Just, they will just not defense. let you turn the corner whatsoever and get in the lane at all. We haven't been able to penetrate. Griff is about the only one that's been able to get any penetration at all. Ball batted away, stolen away by Heston. Drive in there by the Swathers, and basket is good by number 23. As Tyler McCartney, a junior for Heston, 7-2. Yeah. We really can't have any empty possession where we don't even get a shot. That's uh, no. That's going to be tough. Man, you got players falling on the floor all over the place. Shot was no good. Ball's deflected. Heston comes back up with it. Shot's no good. And they're, they're going to call oh. it up on the rebound. Wow. Ooh, my goodness. Coach McMillan calling a timeout. Tampa State Bank timeout, by the way. I'm sure we have some uh, sponsors we probably ought go. to get taken care of here. I thought we lost our list. <laughs> but uh, we've got Central National Bank, first half sponsors, Prairie Land Partners, Marion National Bank, Shelter Insurance, St. Luke Hospital, Triple R Hauling, Harry Real Estate, Case and Son Insurance, and Eagle Communication. Those are our first half sponsors. Our uh, Warrior sponsors are Gambino's Pizza, Marion Auto Supply, HRK, and Edwards Jones. Once again, folks, if you see any of these people that own these businesses around and about town, please stop and say thank you. They, uh, they do this 
out of the goodness of their heart to help uh, bring you these games. Um, so if you do see one of them, just let them know that you do appreciate their sponsorship. All right, Heston with the ball underneath their own basket. Again, leading 7-2 with 3.25 left in the first quarter. Had somebody, number 44, checked in. I think that's the 6'7 kid. Brad Simpson, a 6'7 junior. Nice drive in there by 50. Case, though, with a good job on yep. the backside good. help defense. Good job by Case getting a hand on the ball. Heidbrick drives in, short on the shot. That's going to be traveling or something in yep. there. All right, good defense again by the Warriors, and they do get the ball back again, 245, 247 left in the first quarter. Got James coming back in for Griff, and uh, Brett Vos coming in for uh, Tim Nola. Kind of a good news, bad news thing, Jerry, with... 247 left in the first quarter. Heston's only scored seven points. That's a good thing. Marion's only scored two, though. Yep. Robson drives, shoots, gets fouled. All right, let's go to the line. Make free throws. I think, I think the uh, Marion Warriors are going to go tell Coach that their, 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 their uh, uniforms are too small. <laughs> Seems to be another guy inside of here with me. That's how tight they're playing that defense. <laughs> That's funny. First free throw is good. They are really getting in our face. And they just, are you know, tight. They are, they are quick. They are quick. Second free throw. Ah, oh, just ran Because I feel out. like I feel like we are fairly quick. Yeah, our defense really has been yeah, quite pretty, good. We're pretty quick. Yeah. We mentioned how important it was to try and you know, score early and often to not let them jump out to a lead. They, they do have a lead. It's not certainly not insurmountable. Oh. There's going to be a, a foul called in there somewhere, pretty, I would think. Pretty, pretty sure there was going to be a foul on that like, one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah. Who are they going to call on? on Taylor Heidebrecht. Just don't call it on. Uh, and don't call it on our big man, yeah. First free throw is good. Second free throw is good also. All right, Heston's up 9 to 3. 221 left in the first. Heston like, doing some substituting. Yeah, looks like they're using probably, it looks like probably about seven so far. See, now, that, now they're going to trap. Okay, there we go. Good job. Nice That's job a good by job. The yeah. ah, I guess not. That's <laughs> it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> I think he saw 50 coming over out of the corner of his eye to do another trap there, and he made a moment of indecision, and that ball's bouncing. He can't do that. Number 50 is strong in there, Jerry, but James got a fingernail finished. on that yep. one. Hasn't finished his shots the last couple. Got put a hand on okay. him there. Yep. Good call by the ref. I tell you what, we've got. I think we've got to try to drive a little bit more. I, you know. I know they're pretty good at keeping us from turning the corner, but we've got to we've got to figure out some way to get some penetration and, and, and get some uh, get some get a piece of that paint in there, or else we're not going to be able to do much at all. We've only attempted one outside shot that was close, but no, did not make it. But yeah, you're right. We've got to do that, and uh, along the way, if nothing else, draw some fouls on yeah. some of their big yeah. guys, and at least take the action to them. Brett both into the game. Nice job uh, by Robbie, just did not get the fall. Got to turn his shoulders a little bit. He's kind of shooting sideways there. Yeah, he did a good job that time of getting into the lane clean. Shots no, taken, no good. Both with the rebound. Good defense. Three-point shot taken, it's off. There's Jones with an offensive rebound, but blocked right down to him. Blocked, oh, they're gonna call a foul. foul. Yeah. Probably a fortunate break for the Warriors there. Could but be. Oftentimes, unless they're going to climb with the body or something. I'm not too sure, but 
Anyway, James Jones did a good job in there that time, Jerry, staying with the staying with the ball and uh, getting two rebounds in a row. Fighting for everything he can get. Now he's got to make free throws. And got right in there. Go. Heston substituting again. They're rotating one, two, about three different players in and out pretty regularly. Second free throw coming up. Gets the kind oh, round. Go. And goes in there. So Marion cuts the lead to five to nine with one minute and ten seconds left in the first quarter. Nice drive taken in there by number 23. And unfortunately, I think that was Z-Rob who got yep. caught on the back side there. So that's going to be, I think, two fouls on him. Yep. He, needed to, he needed to take oh, away oh. take away his left hand there. They, they kind of isolated him on that side. Robbie kind of stutter stepped there just for a second, and the guy was by. That's how quick they are. A pretty big blow to the Warriors as he's an integral part of both the offense and defense. And they get a three-point play out of it. So Heston takes the lead back out to seven now at 12 to five, coming down under a minute left in the first quarter. Ah, Taylor Heidelberg working hard just, to get the ball across the court. That, and then that's just tough defense. Yeah, I that mean, is good defense. Yeah, I don't know where Brett was going, but he decided to switch sides or something. I don't know. So. That's the, that's the things we've just got to got to stay away from. Didn't even have a chance to get the ball up. Okay, they're going to play for they're going to play for the last shot, 30 some seconds. Um, I saw the coach going like now he said he's putting up one finger. So now as we're down to 23 seconds to go, they're going to wait for the final shot of the quarter. I always like to start trapping about 10 seconds instead of letting them run their, run their yeah. stuff. Yeah. Trap them and do something because they're going to get the shot they want if we're not careful. Right there. Number five yep. seconds, three-pointer on its way. No good. Oh, what a follow by number 50. <laughs> Into the first quarter, Heston 14, Marion 5. Yep. We just kind of let them get away from us right there at the end. We. We pretty well withstood a lot of their uh, their offense and their defense, and then we, we we turned the ball over two or three times in the last yeah. three minutes, two minutes or something like that. So it's a it's a tough situation because those guys put so much pressure on you. Yeah, they're relentless, and I'm assuming that we can expect that pretty much for the whole game. Marion had pulled it to within four points with about a minute left there in that first quarter. Defense was looking good, and then a couple of uh, Couple of baskets, one three-point play on the unfortunate Robson foul, and then that put back right there as time was expiring, extended that four quickly back out to nine points. Yeah, it just looks to me like we need to maybe set a high screen up there and, and uh, help relieve a little pressure up there from the uh, Heidebrecht and his stuff to go. Why don't you do our first half sponsors again, Jerry? Okay, we're gonna first half sponsors again are Central National Bank, Prairie Land Partners, Marion National Bank, Shelter Insurance, St. Luke Hospital, Triple, Triple R Hauling, Erie Real Estate, Case and Sun Insurance, and Eagle Communications. Once again, looks like Coach McMillan is going to roll the dice a little bit by bringing Robson back out yeah, onto the I, court. You know, Robbie's a Robbie's a senior, and he's he's pretty smart. I, oh wow, another turnover, and, and I think I think possibly that. Uh, Maybe he can play without picking up a foul. We'll find out. He's going to have to do it sooner or later in this game. That's Warriors putting on a little full court pressure, looking for a trap themselves, I think, there. Heston got it broken, and they'll set up their offense. Yeah, we're playing a little more zone. Zone now, yeah. Yeah. Three-pointer taken, and Boom. it's good. Number five. Grant Raleigh. 17-5, Heston extends their lead out to 12 points. Where's he to answer? We need to get our offense going somewhere along the line. 
get some open threes or get into the paint a little bit. Nice cut in there. Oh. Tough shot by Heidebrecht with his left hand. Yep, if he'd have gone with his right hand, he got blocked. Yeah, it was a good effort, but that was a tough angle. Another three-pointer, rims out. Case with the rebound. Good job by, I think it was Jones keeping that ball alive. Yeah, I think so. He's got some ups to him. Yeah, Griff, Griff's playing awful, awful good ball game tonight. He's really hustling out there, trying to do what, else, what all he can. Robson into the paint, well, gets that, up there and gets it to could, go. That could have that could have been a walk, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Take that. Takes it down to 17-7. Six minutes left in the first half. We've got to start getting some stops down here. Our offense is starting to they're starting to figure out a little bit what they can do on offense and what they can't. Blocked in there again by the Warriors. Heiderbreck comes out with the ball. That's some good defense, Jerry. Yep. I think that was Griff Case that got his hand on that, wasn't it? So. They, they, the refs seem to be letting the uh, both sides contest mm. shots inside there, you know, going up for a block. It's got to be a pretty, apparently a pretty hefty foul to have him blow the whistle. So that lets, it's fun to watch yeah. the two big, or the big guys go against each other in the paint. Hopping a skip and a jump, but couldn't finish. You know, you know Griff, Griff caused that too. He just yep. got over there and got his hand up. The guy was afraid he's going to get it blocked. Jerry, these seniors know that um, yeah. if they if they don't win this game tonight, their basketball, high school basketball career is over. So you, yep, I'm sure that's weighing in the back of your mind and gives you some extra incentive. Back doors have been open. We just yep. haven't, we haven't hit them all. There's, there's a fine a fine alley though yeah. for that pass to come in yeah. there cleanly anyway. Oh, it's scary scary passes. Warriors again using lots of time on the clock, trying to find. They got Griff posted up in there. Let's see if he can go up and under. Nope. Robson with the ball and gets a gets a basket in there. Good, good unselfish move by Case. He could have tried to force a shot up there, but decided to uh, the, the better of it and saw Robson cutting into the basket and uh, made a made a great play. Yep. Case's son timeout. It, you know, it seems like when we're wait able. Wait a minute. Tampa State Bank. Tampa State timeout. Bank timeout. Sorry about that. <laughs> Case's son, three-pointer. We haven't had one of those. No, yet. we haven't had one for Marion. Anyway. But it seems like whenever we can get into the paint a little bit, either by the pass or the dribble, kind of opens our offense up a little bit, and we get some shots. It seems like it just seems like it takes a long time for us to be able to get the ball in there. But Griff, it doesn't have. You don't have to shoot it when you get it in there. If you get it in the inside, it kind of flattens that zone out and opens up some other. Uh, they're going to collapse down, and you got some driving lanes or some some cutting lanes and, and so on and so forth. Just kind of opens the offense up a little bit. So we need to keep getting in that, getting a piece of that paint in there, getting the foot in there or something, getting the ball in there somehow or another. See if that doesn't help us out a little bit. Marion has uh, come back to within eight points. Now it's 17 to nine. We're halfway through the second quarter, four minutes left in this half. I'll tell you what, Baldwin's working hard in there. Oh. oh, and then, then he gets called for he a foul. And, and I foul. was saying they're letting him play, and I, he, he, he was a foul. Yeah. Got him on the wrist. Couldn't get up high enough to get a hold of the ball. But. First team foul, or first foul on Baldwin. Four, four team fouls apiece on both Heston and Marion. First free throw rims out. Of course, Baldwin's giving away a little bit of height in there, I think. 6'3 and 6'7, I guess about yeah, four inches. That's a little bit. <laughs> that's a little bit. Yeah. But I tell you what, Jerry, our guys are holding their own against these 6'6 six, six and 6'7 six, players yeah. so far. I don't, I don't think they've really out-rebounded us per se. They haven't, they haven't done a lot of it. Are they going to call number 50? Yeah, I thought so, man. I tell you what. And they were he, fighting. And he had a fighting. They were he had a hold of James's arm. <laughs> 
That's his second foul. So he's going to have a seat maybe for a while. They're pretty physical underneath the basket, but I, you know, I think our guys are, are battling right in there. I've never seen James Jones back down from, no. a, from a battle in the lane there. Down to 320 oh. left in the half. Yep, they had it. Missed Brett Voth cutting through there, didn't they? Brett's working hard. Oh, now we're pointing the other way. Yeah, they're going to get bolted. We're backing up in there. Oh. As they call, dislodging. 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 That's what I hear, <laughs> what I hear on TV. They're dislodging him from his space. Uh, unfortunately, that's Baldwin's second foul. So we've got Robson and Baldwin with two fouls. Looks like Griff Case is going to get ready to check back into the ball game. Coming to the three-minute mark of the half. That's going to be on Jones. James, though. I think uh, that's his first, I hope. I just do not like those calls. He's driving down the baseline, jumps into the guy that's guarding him, and the guy, yep. you know. Yep. I think, it, I think there'll come it. a time when they'll, they'll look at, at the angle of some of these these uh, guards that do a lot of that stuff and, and the, it'll dwindle down from the pros down to the college and on down there but it's uh they need to look a little bit at as to who who's actually making the contact who's doing doing the contact yeah. as much as possible but as long as you don't just completely lower your yeah. shoulder and you know make yeah. a really violent move like that they typically won't call it on the offensive player no uh -uh. I guess right. they figure the offense has a chance to, but you know, defensive guy has a chance to just go straight up too, which I, I'm not trying to say James did that that time. He probably was jumping into him a little bit. Well, I tell you, Brett's making some nice cuts. He's going to have logged several miles on the court before the game is over. Yeah. He's very active under there trying to get open. He's making some nice cuts. Matter of fact, everybody's cutting, cutting hard. Just, you just can't shake. Well, Griff should have posted up, man. Heston jumped in there. Yeah, it, it looked to me like Griff may have a little bit of a mismatch. Nice finish in there by 23 for Heston. 21 to 9, two minutes to go in the first half. They're just very efficient in their offense. They get the ball down there in a hurry. Thing about... They make a mistake, and they have speed that uh, pretty well yeah. uh, covers up for it. It's, uh, that was, it's I about. believe, the seventh team foul, so we should up, I guess, six. Yeah, just okay, six. I thought I looked up as soon as the whistle blew, and it was six, but apparently the scorekeeper over there is pretty, pretty quick with the button. Six team fouls, so Marion doesn't go to the line as we're now under. Oh, wow. They call James Jones. I mean, I guess they call him wrapping an arm around there or something. My goodness, you got to let that guy try and well, just, try and get some position too. As long as they call it on both ends, they're doing they're doing the same thing down wow. here. Coach McMillan, I think, trying to tell the referee that that's. I think I guess that was the second foul on Jones. Yeah. Uh -huh. Three point shot taken, no good. Nice rebound by Nola. Well, Nolan does a good job of rebounding. Doesn't I think. he, though? Yeah, he yep. does. You're right. I'm going to try a three of our own just off a little bit. Ball's on the floor. Heidebrecht gets it. <laughs> Wild shot in there. Case, though, with the rebound and gets fouled. Good oh, hustle by the Warriors there, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> See Taylor change direction. Just yeah. like a shot, man. He had that ball in a heartbeat. He is quick. Right, Griff Case with first free throw. Just rims off. I wonder if Coach McMillan thinking at all about getting Robbie out of there before he picks up his third foul. I don't know. We're down to a minute 12 seconds to go in the half. Oftentimes, that's a pretty smart move because about the time you decide to leave him in, they'll pick one up. Case good on the second free throw. Gets it to 10, to 21, coming up on the one-minute mark of the half.
screen set up. Three point shot. Off, no good. Ooh. Long rebound out to Heston. They'll load up for another, and that should be off. Ah, oh. Warriors had two guys with, or with the chance at the ball and bounced off of somebody's foot in there, Jerry. Well, I definitely would get him out right now with 38 seconds left. Heston will inbound the ball into their own basket. Where's, right that, where's that fast five second count again? <clears throat> that time they ran the old inside play. Yep, the inside play for a quick basket. Okay, we need to get, we need to score here and hold them down to 24 seconds. They sure take away the baseline quickly, don't they? They take away everything. Robson puts up shot just off the front of the rim. And to four seconds to go. Oh my goodness sakes. I missed yeah. the layup, he fortunately the layup. for the Warriors. Yeah, fortunately. Sure how. All right, that's the end of our first half with Heston up 23 to 10. That's 13 points, people. We're going to have to 10 points in two quarters. I think we're going to have to up our offense a little bit. And uh, I don't think they're playing real bad defense. They've only allowed 23 points. That's, that's I mean, an awfully good. Uh, and, 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 uh, six, five to six of those have come on fast break points. So. Uh, we can come out there. We can get something going offensively. I think we can get back in the ball game. All right. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back for the second half action. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the start of the second half. Again, Marion down 23-10. Warriors doing a great job on defense in that first half, but could not find the, find the open lanes or the, 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 the opportunities to score. Good defensive stand to start this third quarter again. This is Kevin Priesting along with Jerry Smith and Jay Smith and Mike Powers and Gene Winkler to bring you this sub-state quarterfinal action. Case with a three-point attempt that did everything but go in. How many three-point shots have we had tonight? Not that might have been about the second or third yeah. at the most. Yeah. Yep. Penetration by Hess, but good job by Heidebrecht to block that. Here comes Nala. Oh, oh they, no. Oh, he was not set. Look at Coach McMillan. Wow. He was just waiting to blow the whistle before it even happened. I'm sorry, but. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yep. He should have slipped to the side a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Wow. That was a classic flop there, but Heston okay. does uh, return right. a favor, and that was Case's first foul, so, I mean, uh, Nola's first foul, so didn't hurt us too much on that. Yeah, we got, we got James with two, and we got uh, Z-Rob with two. And I think Jones with, yeah, you said him. Yeah. Jones, Z-Rob, and, I no, I think, um, I think Baldwin, oh, Baldwin has two also. I was just yeah. looking up there at, yeah. at who was in the ball game, I guess. Yeah. Give that to him. There you go. You know, Griff, Griff's fairly open. He needs to yeah. post. He needs to work a little harder, but they need to also throw the ball no, in there. I didn't let him uh, at least have an opportunity at it. Well, they collapse, kick it back out. We got an open three, but if we don't ever get into the paint. Yep. All right, Warriors with the ball again. Nice cut by Case. Gets up oh, and yeah. gets blocked. Yeah. yeah, that was long outlet pass in. That was the. That was the big guy. Yep. Big guy. Yep. Griff, Griff took on the big guy, and he kind of swatted it out of there, didn't he? It's all right. Take it at him. Uh, you're not going to score if you don't try. Nope. So good job by Griff giving it a shot. Ball has got thrown over the top of the defense. Next time he can fake him up and then draw the foul. Free throw is good by Heston. Second free throw on its way and is good also. So Heston extends their lead to 25 to 10 as we're hitting about 6.30 mark of the third quarter. Heidebrecht with a nice pass to Jones. Oh, no, no, that's, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that interference. that's goaltending. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he got his hand all tied up in the net there and that is uh, interference. Anytime the ball's in the cylinder and he hits the net, that's interference. Yep. 
So good, good hustle by both. Uh, Which is Heidebrecht good because Jones. I don't know if that was going to go in. It didn't. It came out. Or, yeah, and I don't think the the hand up in there necessarily no. kept it from going down. But anyway, shots no good. Nala with the rebound. Twenty-five to twelve. Nala wide open for a three. Get in there. There we oh! go. There we go. It's a Casey son three pointer. Get a little fire in our bellies. There we go, oh, a steal. Oh, oh, We're oh, down oh. to 10 points. Oh, I think Heidebrecht could have shot that. That yeah. three-pointer got blocked. Yep. It's okay, Warriors have woken up on the defense and offense a little bit. Okay, Warriors with the ball again. 540 to go in the third. Hold within 10 at 25-15. Interesting what Augie had to say, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. Can't take the coaching out of the coach, can you? No. <laughs> Shot by Nola, and it oh, rims in. Good. Five consecutive points by Tim Nola here in this third quarter. 25-17, Warriors within eight. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. That's all you can do. Chip away. Play good defense. 33 has got some speed. Yeah. They're gonna call they're gonna call that on Tim, I believe. He just he just takes off. One of Heston's seniors. Jerry, I look down at their program and I if, if my uh, half blind eyes can see, they only have two seniors on yep. their squad. That's that, one, that was one, that's one right of them right there. Kenny. And the other one is number 33. Rest of them are sophomores and juniors. Baldwin snuck in the game on us somewhere along the way. Yep. Well, they're, they're working hard in there. I, I still don't understand that, how, how they can let them bang around so much and then all of a sudden one move you do they they call that a foul then there's a foul every couple of seconds in there well, shoot that yeah i saw that too he could have should have taken it in there yeah, he's got to he got to shoot that 10 footer nala lines up a three oh. right in there jason son three-pointer Eight consecutive or points should for I get the Tampa State Bank. There you go. <laughs> I don't care who. That's I don't three. care. Who. Just keep making them. Gets us down within seven at 5th, 27 to 20. A steal by the Warriors. Look inside. Look inside. I right, pulled it back out. Both the student sections are trying to heat it up a little bit. Nulla drives in. Oh, just off, but there's Baldwin with the Go rebound. Right <laughs> Got fouled. Nice job by Baldwin on the back side there, Jerry, to get that rebound. Yes, you know, penetrate, get it up on the glass. Everybody's coming. That's got to open up the backside rebound. That's right where Baldwin was. He just needed to put it back in, go up and stuff it. <laughs> Easy for you and me to say. Slam it home. There you go. Nice. <laughs> the free throw by Baldwin is good. That's his first point of the night. Hey, well, I had my six-foot goal out there. I could get there up there. There you go. Maybe. If I Maybe. might be able to. That was back when I was young, though. <laughs> Second free throw is good. Look, Jerry, all of a sudden the uh, score is 27-22. Five-point lead by Heston with the three minutes, 30 seconds left in the third quarter. They've done a pretty good job on the defensive end. They just got to keep doing that. Just about another steal by Robson. Boy, they are quick. There's Nolik with a re with a steal. Goes up. Oh, Did not. nothing there. Where's the foul, man? <laughs> Coach McMillan's pleading with the referee uh, as he goes by. Wow. Yeah. And then they call a ticky-tack foul on the other side. Oh, my goodness sakes. That's unbelievable. Wow. Ah. Uh, oh, they called that on who? Call it on Nola. 
Oh, they kind of, where'd they stand? Well, if they're going to call it on Nola, it had to be been on the floor and not on the shot. I'm going to say, I thought they called that on Baldwin. I thought so, too. I don't know where Tim was. Good heavens. All right, got to come back. We could Adversity. Go to, we could go to the monitor. We could, yeah. uh, could see. But somebody okay. called a timeout, Jerry. We got a Tampa State Bank timeout. Let me go after the uh, second half sponsors, okay? Sure. Marion Qantas, Marion Pharmacy, Marion Boosters, Carlson's Grocery, Hannaford Abstract, Hillsborough Free Press, Tampa State Bank, and Jerry Katie Agency. Again, thanks, people, and see. Warrior sponsors are Gambino's Pizza, Marion Auto Supply, HRK, and Edwards Jones. Thanks for your support, people. Be sure to let, let people know if you en enjoy these uh, broadcasts. And Kevin and I will let you know we're not getting any of that money. We're not getting paid anything, so. Man. We're getting paid exactly what we're worth. We're, we're fortunate <laughs> to get that, aren't we? <laughs> If it gets any worse, they're going to make us start having to throw some money in a pot or something to get to do this. You pay to do this. Coach McMillan was about as animated in on the sideline with his team as I've seen him in a long time. And it wasn't in a bad way, no, Jerry. No, I think he, he was really, really working with saying, him, trying you know, to get him said, built up, yeah. saying, we can do this, working guys. Yep. Keep working. Case with a three. Up, oh, hits off the hit side. Off the side of yeah. Those are the kind that kind of turn into fast break baskets if we're not sure certain. Number 50 with the three, no good. There's Nola with another great rebound. Keep, get, keep getting open shots. Marion down 30 to 22, two minutes and 15 seconds oh left. Oh my gosh, they're gonna let him come over the top like that? Wow. Marion retains possession on that wow. tip ball. Yeah, he Sorry was, people, but I'm pretty, pretty biased here. But. Kind of interesting, Jerry. They they let things go for quite a while, and then all of a sudden they may. Oh, oh and, and I don't think that was a foul. Yeah, I don't know. He got up there pretty good on that one. Yeah. But we're down, they're down there, and we're up here, so yeah. I guess yeah. I'm not gonna say too much. It did go in our favor this time, I we're, guess. So they balled with the line to shoot two. First free throw is short. In fact, Brett both coming into the game to give Tim Nola a little bit of a break. Tim is having a heck of a third quarter. Yeah, we need to uh, really watch ourselves these last two minutes and yep. make sure they don't get get a spurt on yep. us. Yep, good point, Jerry. We're you, they, back they worked, within seven. They worked too hard to yep. take a – I think it was a 15-point deficit at one time there a couple of minutes into the third quarter, and they have really fought back. 30 to 23, we've just – Ticked under, two minutes to go in the third quarter. Heston on a little 12-foot jumper or so, got the kind bounce off the front of the rim. Ah, steal by number 50. Oh, good defense by Robson. Wow. Three-point shot taken, and it's good. Why wow, that hurt. That hurt. So timeout. Tampa State Bank timeout. That that was uh, that was too bad because we had a deal. Brett just didn't come off the off the screen and toward the ball. Yeah. He kind of flared out. Yeah. Gave that guy a chance to get in there. Then we did all right down there. But it seemed like maybe we didn't hustle back down the floor and they caught us in a scramble defense. Yeah. Their best three point shooter wide open out there and he didn't miss it. So we're back up to a uh, 12 point lead. Basketball is definitely a game of runs, and yep, there he is. Yep. So we just need to keep plugging away. Yeah, we about 30 seconds ago, literally, we're a seven-point deficit, and you said we can't let them get get a little run going. And here they've got five consecutive, and gets out to 12 points. If Warriors can just come right back and get a three or a basket of their own, we're still right in this thing as we enter into this fourth quarter. We're not in too bad a shape. We don't have anybody with three fouls, do we? Do no, I don't think so. We James, had three play James still has two, doesn't yep, he? Yep, we had three with two yeah. fouls in that first half, but I don't believe any of them have picked up a foul in this third quarter. <coughs> All right, Grant gets the ball with a minute 30 left in this third.
Nala drove in there and didn't have any place to go with it. Boy, got lucky we were there. lucky there. Yeah, lucky they, there. it was good hustle by Baldwin, though, to, <laughs> to go really, after that loose ball down there. The ball was coming. Yeah, he, I, well, I don't know if it was. I think he got – that Nola just got so far yeah. under the basket and was about ready to go out of bounds. He, I think he just kind of had to bail the ball, and Baldwin did a great job of hanging on to that. Four team fouls on both Heston and Marion here. Yeah, we got here. Brett both back in the ball game. He needs to continue, to continue to make those good sharp cuts he was doing instead of flaring away. You got to flare. You got to go toward the ball. When people are playing tough defense, you got to go toward the ball. Nice drive by Nola draws the foul on the floor. That'll be five team fouls against Heston as we get down to 40, 49 seconds left in the third quarter. Marion will just inbound the ball into their own basket again. Nice job by both, and Ooh, finish up. Oh, that was a great play. Good, good job. Got to play defense. I think it's, this, this is going to – oh, we went for a steal. We're yep. not going to get – oh. <laughs> oh, Griff got another one. <laughs> Too bad we don't have stats around here. I would have liked to see how many block Watch shots we've had yeah. in the last two or three games. <laughs> Griff with a little wry grin on his yeah, face there. Yeah, he says, I might have got a little bit of ham, but not much. <laughs> 30 seconds left in the quarter. 35-25. I think uh, looks like Coach is telling the Heston players to pull out for the last second shot of the quarter. Hey, they got to watch that little, that little cut through and out to the corner with the screen. Yep. Here he comes. He's come out to the corner. Here he comes out to the corner. Shot taken is no good. Good job. Nice good defense, defense by the Warriors. And good we will defense. get the ball to start the fourth I'm quarter. I'm sure those guys saw me pointing. Didn't they? <laughs> Probably, yeah, I'm sure they were looking yeah. at you, Terry. All right, that's the end of the third quarter. We got a 10-point ball game. 35-25. We scored 15 points that quarter. Wow. We only scored 10 the first half. So you can tell our offense just wasn't, wasn't clicking as much as it should have been. We closed the gap. Now we just need to get it down within five or under five and see if, see if the pressure gets to see how uh, Heston answers the pressure. Sometimes close ball game, one and done, and all of a sudden they, you know, we make a run at them. All of a sudden they get a little tight and start missing shots, and then we make a better run. I'd like to see us get down within – three or four points and see if they tighten up a little bit. And yeah, if you can try and get them to start playing to not lose, yeah, oftentimes right. that's when it uh, can turn on you. So let's see what the Warriors can do. They've shown great heart in this third quarter. I think you and I just talking uh, off the air, we're going that third quarter is going to be awfully critical to see if they, you know, they, they got to hang in there and they've shown they can do that. So let's see what they've got here in the fourth. And Warriors will get the ball to start. Nola leading the scores with eight points on the night. He drives, gets, gets okay. blocked, and the foul called. Drive right. in there and put something up, Jerry, and oftentimes good things happen. First personal foul on number 11, but Jerry, I'm looking up at the team fouls. That's the sixth team foul on Heston as we're just starting yep. this fourth quarter. So every foul after this, Marion will be going the line one way or the other already. Got to make free throws, though. Too. Okay, you got number 30 coming back in. If he's guarding Griff, if Griff needs to post up a little harder and see if we can't take a little bit of advantage of that because Griff's been able to. I wouldn't say handling, but it's been looking like a mismatch as we've just been well, kind of seeing it from least, up here. At least an opportunity for us to score some points down there, I think. Nice strong move by 50. No good. Oh, my. Surely there had to be a foul under there somewhere. Yeah, and then gonna, they call one on us. they call one on James. Wow. Gotta wow. Be, just got to be stronger with the ball when you get to rebound. You just can't let it hang it out there. Hang it out there. 50 does a good job. He's a good basketball player. He is. 35-26. Heston at the line to shoot two. First free throw rims off. It's 
Nice, free throw nice crowd. Very nice crowd. Very nice crowd. 36-26, 7-20 to go in the ball game. Robson with the drive oh. and in there. Wow, Zach, I think, almost felt like he got caught in there. Put up the floater and went in. Nice job to adjust there by Robson. Down within eight again. Ah, they got inside yep. and, and just responded very nicely. That's a good drive in there by number five. Like he stole a script from Nola or somebody yeah. on that one. Yeah, anything you can do, I can be better or yeah, something. They, like they that, often, I'm sure they pay attention to some of that. Yeah, I think I saw that. Yeah. Nola kind of did a push off yeah. as he was trying to get their, some space. Their in coach there. is, this coach has been lobbying for that all night long. Oh. So. Well, coach McMillan needs to lobby for something yep. in return. I yep. think he's trying that. Yep. Four fouls, though, Jerry, I'm looking up on Tim. Ooh, didn't know that. Yeah, that hurts. Another drive, and they're calling a travel. Wow. Good. <laughs> All right, so turnover on Heston. Gives the ball back to the Warriors with 6 minutes, 31 seconds left in the ball game. Oh, nice job to get the ball inbound. Oh, <laughs> God, is 33 quick or what? He's quick, and here comes a three-pointer by Robson. No oh. good on the side. Wide yeah, open. I'd like to see. Wide uh, open shot there. I'd like to see 33 and Heidebrecht have just a race down the court and see who can get down there yeah. fastest. Well, I'm telling you, 33. Has <laughs> and he goes in there that time. Did a great job of shielding his body. Nice job along the baseline there, wasn't it? Just, boy. <laughs> right around him, wasn't he? he he's explosive along there. He's a, he's kind of an unsung hero for yeah. their team, I think. Yeah. I mean, he nine he, point he, nine points on the night for him. Yeah, he, uh, he's quick. He gets he gets some penetration, gets some some uh, assists. Pokes up inside, Griff. Boy, Jerry, we're down within eight, and then all of a sudden you look up, we're down by thirteen again. Yeah, 41-28, 545 left in the game. Seemed like we got down early and we just we just can't we just can't get, get ourselves out of that. You know, I saw the same thing in the first game. Sacred Heart got out by 15 and that's just about where they stayed the rest of the game. Huh. She did. Robson yeah. uses the glass. Nice job by Zach. Nine points for Zach on the night, 41-30. 5.15 to go in the game. There goes 31 in there again. Wow! You need to maybe take that baseline away from him, force him back into the middle where we got somebody to block his shots. Yep. It just looks like he can, he can do that anytime he wants to, doesn't it? Yeah, and I think he's starting to feel that, yeah. and we better be ready well, to do something to shut that down. Actually, he's got... Nola on him, and Nola can't guard him tough because of he's got four fouls. Yeah. So he's taking they're taking advantage of that, I believe. All right, Warriors back with the ball after the block shot. Heidebrecht with a three. Off. Here comes Heston. There's number 33 just streaking down the court again. Yeah, Coach McMillan's going to say, guys, we got to stop number 33. We've got to get back on defense. Wow. Yeah. Well, one last time, let me give the second half uh, sponsors, Quanta, uh, Marion Quantus, Marion Pharmacy, Marion Booster, Carlson's Grocery, Hannaford Abstract, Hillsborough Free Press, Tampa State Bank, and Jerry Cady Agency. Again, thank you very much for your support this past year. We do appreciate it. I know Gene Winkler is working on some new technology or some additional technology for us, Jerry, that I think if things work out right, we will be able to actually be able to do some high def type of signals and the, the, uh, the, the picture quality should just be something to, oh, that we haven't seen before yet. I know he's working with Eagle Communications on getting some of that equipment into his office. We're kind of hoping to be able to maybe get to do some of that. What are we looking at? The cheerleader? Coach Robson down. Oh. 
when he's lobbying. <laughs> I bet he, know, I bet he just knows this guy. <laughs> little adjunct coaching from the corner. I guess there. could be. Funny. Why don't you get our Warrior sponsor oh, one more time here sponsor. for the game real quickly. Gambino's Pizza, Marion Auto Supply, HRK, and Edward Jones. Thank you very much. All right, Marion down, 45-30. We're coming up on the four-minute, 30-second mark of the ball game. Warriors need to get on a run here. Let's see what Coach McMillan drew up or has told his players about trying to shut down number 33. They're putting, Rob, they're putting Robbie on him. See what happens. Nice feed into 50. No good. There's That's Baldwin with a good, good rebound. He got, he, they ran that play twice, and yep. Baldwin's been pretty good at him. Heston has some great guards. Nice move there by Heidelberg. That was a, that was a good play yep. there. Kind of yep. watched that back one develop. Yep. Good job, good pass, good finish. I, I really don't know how good the big guys for Heston are, but our, I thought our guys were handling pretty well. Stayed right with them anyway as far as what they're doing. That was Heidebrecht's first two points of the night, Jerry. Yep. Wow. That kid's pretty good, though. I think our, I think our, kid is, our kids have played him pretty well tonight. He's got ten points. Yeah, he certainly hasn't been overly dominating or no, anything. No, he's been inside a couple of times to the point that uh, we, and we've, we've handled his shot. Ah, good defense in there, sticks the ball away. Good finish by Heston, 49-32, Jerry, with three minutes to go in the Tim game. Tim couldn't do anything about that because he's got four fouls. We're just... We're, and it hasn't happened very often, but it has happened two or three times where we just not, nobody rotates back and they get a they get a uh, break uh, breakout. Sent, they send somebody about every time to the point that we've got to drop at least one, rotate one person back to protect the basket. That's six set, six to eight points. That'd make a big difference in the ball game right now. Make a big difference. Yeah. Nala to the line to shoot one and one. Seven team fouls on both Heston and Marion. First three, the eye just rims off. We've got to score points however yeah, we can score yeah, we, them at the moment. We, we've got to uh, be a little better on, on well, we just got to make our free throws on a comeback. It's just yep. all there is to it. 2.30 left in the game. Robson deflects the pass, but Heston retains possession of it. Looks like they're trying to they're deliberately run some clock off now, aren't they? They're just spreading the floor. They're just running a little flex offense with some flex cuts down there. Right across the baseline, posting up. It's a pretty good offense to run. Two minutes to go in the ball game. A lot of screening and a lot of cutting. Again, Heston up 49-32. Yeah, we've got a timeout, timeout. Tampa State Bank timeout by Heston. Okay, Let's Coach. Full timeout. Coach Jerry, tell me about the, the strategy that the Warriors would try and uh, employ now down by 16 points. Do you? I mean, do you start trying to foul? I mean, you. that's a lot of points to have to make up in such a short amount of time, but you certainly want to just lay down and and let them roll over, so what, what do you do? Well, hopefully you've got a, uh, what I used to call a hurry up offense where you can get some quick baskets, some, some quick hitters that you can call on the offense side, because you can't take a lot of time trying to score. Take the easy baskets, hopefully you're gonna get a drive and get three, but on the defensive end, you're gonna have to probably trap. If coach has done his, his homework, which I'm sure he has, Probably have an idea of maybe if they have to have somebody that is a poor free throw shooter. Whenever he touches the ball, you foul him. We've got, uh, I don't know, two and a half minutes left to go or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, you can't wait. I mean, you can't, you can just start fouling if you want to. But I think 
in this situation, you got it 149, at least wise right now for a couple of these as they're running their offense, whoever, whoever they think is the poorest free throw shooter, as soon as he touches the ball, I'd foul him, take a, take a chance there, and they're in the one and one and, and see and see if uh, see if we can gain some there. But uh, other than that, that's they're going they're going to run that little flex, those flat flex offense. And they actually got guys cutting on the bottom. They're pretty wide open. They're not they're not looking to score. I don't think they're looking to score. That's why I mean. And everybody's touching the ball, so maybe, maybe you ought to. I don't, I don't think 30 is 30 hasn't shot a free throw tonight, has he? No, 30. I don't think has scored a point for them. He's been out there for quite a bit of the game, but yeah, has not been part of their offense. I guess who, he might make. That's, speed. Who, that's who I might foul every time he touches the ball. Oh, ah, he stepped on the, stepped on the line there. I thought. Mm. I think close. Coach McMillan was. It's close. Leading for that too. Huh. It's too bad Heidelberg had the steal, but he was he should have let it he should have let it go out of bounds. Yeah. But you can't. But Waring's hustling, trying to get yeah. the ball however they can. Yeah. Down to 40 seconds in the ball game. Well, I don't want to be premature here, but I want to give both of the coach head coaches and the coaching staff of both the boys and the girls this year. I I, I think they've done it. An excellent job. They had their kids playing and playing hard the whole season. Yep. You know, we could have slacked off here when we got down 15 points, but we didn't. We came back two or three times. Just the fact that we just shoot it, Taylor, shoot it. They just, they just got a very good. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Casey Sun three pointer. Heston just has a great, a very nice basketball team. Very well rounded. Very quick. Inside play, outside play, and so on. But you know, I want to, I want to congratulate all of the coaching staffs, both the boys and the girls. I, I think the kids have done a great job this year of playing and playing hard. They, they were fun to watch. Now, can't always say that in some years, but uh, this year I, I really enjoyed watching both the boys and the girls play. And, uh, hats off to the coaching, the coaching staff. Final score from the sack is Heston 49, Marion 35. Heston will go on to play in the semifinal game. Marion's season, unfortunately, comes to an end. Again, congratulations and a big thanks to our seniors, Tim Nola, Taylor Heidebreck, Jared Haig, Zach Robson, Griff Case, and James Jones. Yep, they, thanks uh, a lot, guys. They have had a heck of a season and a heck of a career here on the hardwoods in, at Marion High School. So again, um, Jerry, anything final that you'd like to add? Nothing. Nothing? All right. I've already said all I need to say. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the memories. It's been good. It's been good. All right. So for Jerry Smith, Jay Smith, Mike Powers, and Gene Winkler, this is Kevin Freesting signing off one more time from the sack. Once a warrior, always a warrior. Remember, folks, always keep the main thing the main thing. Good night. Good night.